Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse race in action. Back to normal now after the Cheltenham Festival and we go to Kempton for our first selection tomorrow which actually comes in the first race in the 130 with a horse called Heatstroke. He's 13 to 8 bookmakers at the moment, trained for the inform combo that is Nico de Boinville and also as well Nicky Henderson. Now this horse won on its hurdle debut at Huntington last time out and the form's already been franked. The third place uh, won at Musselboro recently and also as well the fourth place horse ran a good race to finish in the frame at Wynn Canton on its last start so the form's worked out well. They've always liked Heatstroke. He was rated a horse in the mid 80s and he's not actually going to be giving away too much weight tomorrow. So for me, I thought Connections have found another good race for him. And at 13 to 8, I thought he was a fair price. And I think Nicky Henderson's going to have a good day at Kempton tomorrow. We then don't have to wait long for our next tip, which comes at Fontwell in the 140 with a horse called Dalhalla Gesture. I've been following this mare for a while. She hasn't maybe lived up to the expectations as she promised as a bumper horse, but nonetheless, she's still a good horse. She makes her handicap debut tomorrow. She's 6 to 4 but makers at the moment. Trained by Anthony Hannibal, who has a lot of success at Fontwell, and Rex Dingle, who's one of the hottest conditionals around, is booked for the ride, claiming £5 tomorrow. This horse ran in a grade 2 at Sandown last time out, where the form has worked out okay. The third place horse that day was a horse of Oliver Sherwood's called Papa Laguna. That horse went on to um, win a listed race at Doncaster a few weeks ago, so the form stacks up somewhat. Now, Huller Gesture also was running a little bit further in trip that day, over two and a half miles dropping back to two miles I think will definitely suit this front runner conditions as well should be okay and I just think she might just have a bit more class than some of her uh, opposition tomorrow so for me I thought this wasn't a bad bet to follow up we then go probably for my strongest selection in my uh, lucky uh, 15 bet tomorrow and this just comes in the 350 at Kempton with a horse called Darling Maltex now this horse is trained by the inform combo again of Harry Cobden and Paul Nichols. They're firing on all cylinders at the moment. Finished um, fifth in a handicap at Ascot last time out behind uh, Brio Conti. Uh, also as well you have Baliandi and also as well Malaya. Malaya went on to win the Imperial Cup last weekend. And Brio Conte and Baliandi boosted the form by finishing uh, third and fourth in the Coral Cup at the Cheltenham Festival. So it's good level of form there. Darling Maltex running back in novice company tomorrow doesn't have to give away a penalty. And I think really this is quite a good opportunity they found from the Nichols team here. Also as well, we won a handicap earlier in the season at Ascot. So he knows how to win this horse. He finished fifth in the Lanzarote, which was a fair effort. And he should have a bit more class compared to some of the rivals in that race tomorrow. And again... I thought at the prices of 6-4, to four, he was a good one there. We then end our video with a bit of um, all-weather evening action in the 6.45 at Wolverhampton with a horse called Albert Finney, not to be confused with the actor who recently passed away, I believe. Now, this horse is 7-4 of four bookmakers at the moment, trained by maestro trainer John Gosden, who's doing very well on the all-weather championships at the moment. He was joint trainer at one time a few weeks ago. I'm not sure where he is now, but he should still be up there. Kieran O'Neill as well. Booked for the ride now, Rab Havlin's been injured um, the last few weeks and will be injured for quite some time because he had a nasty fall at Kempton about a month ago. Now this horse actually won a novice here over a mile uh, a few starts ago, then finished third last time out at Chepstow over a mile and two. Uh, no, not at Chepstow, at Chelmsford, I should say, over a mile and two. Now, that wasn't a bad race that day. He was running on really strongly at the end under Ryan Moore, but just got there too late. Going up in trip, I think, could definitely help him tomorrow up to a mile and a half, which I think could suit because it's in his damn side of his pedigree. His dam was a mile and a half winner, so he should get it on that ground. Also as well, I think Kingman's uh, protege often come on for their runs. They learn, and they're slow improvers, but in the end, they can become the finished article. I'm not saying this horse is going to become a finished article, because he's still rated in the low 70s, but he could still maybe rate 10, 10 20 pounds above it by the time he finishes his career. He's on an upward curve. Still unexposed, and for me at 7 or 4, I thought that wasn't a bad bet there, and he could finally uh, get his head in front again. So that's going to be my lucky 15 tips for tomorrow's action. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button for more um, horse racing tips and also as well more horse racing videos on my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loaders 15. You can also follow me on Twitter as well. My social media handle is at Lucky Loaders 15, and that's all I've got to say. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully, we can have some winners tomorrow, and we'll be. See you soon.